What if I told you that beyond the games that nobody plays anymore, credits do to these people. But what if I told you that if you go sniffing around deep enough, there are games that have never been played by anybody ever. And that there's also games that have never been reviewed. So today we're playing them. So for a game to qualify, it either needs to have zero all-time players or the game has to have no reviews on Steam. So the first game we're going to be looking at is called Ms. Survival. Now, this stood out to me because there's dragons and it's a survival game. I, I like survival games, okay? When I checked on Steam charts, it had an all-time peak player count of two. has only early access reviews. This game is $4.99. Now, it looks like they stopped updating the game in May. So this could be why. <laughs> Patch update. Big. <laughs> I mean, for the sake of this being a pretty open world looking survival game, I think it's, I think it qualifies, you know. Online, find room. Shit. Single player it is. Why does this like look better than Rust? <laughs> like what? Uh, we just dropped in, I guess. We're just the mother of fucking dragons out of nowhere. I've been given some active quests. Straight off the bat. Okay, a bit of guidance. We like that. Are these guys gonna hurt me? I don't... Oh, mount. Oh, hell yeah. Can I... Can I... Why is this like the first time I've ever fucking just rode a... I'm on a dragon. I'm on a fucking dragon. But no one's played this game. And here I am, just alone. On a dragon. There's no way it fly. Oh my god. You think it flies? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're literally flying. We are literally flying on a game that no one has fucking played. Except maybe like three people. Look at me. Look at me. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no. No, no, no! Is this just like any other survival game? Like, like punch trees or, sh or something? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? What are these things? Hello? I think I just killed it. Catch. Uh... This is the best five dollars I've ever spent! And whilst I'm bouncing around, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. It's time to take a stand. FlexiSpot offers the best of the best standing desks for such a good price. I've been using stand-up desks for years and I've never seen anything like this. For just over $150, you can get yourself a standing desk here. As you can see in the background, I am speed running a build of the desk that I receive. And you may be asking, why would I, why would I want a desk that I could stand up at or move up and down? As humans, we're not designed to just sit for 16 hours a day, okay? It's just not, it's not practical. It's gonna cause harm to our health. By doing a bit of standing here and there, A, I think you can actually be more productive. B, much better for your back than if you're stuck, slouched endlessly. And yes, this is me, a stern 155 pounds of meat, easily being lifted into the skies. You can add different materials, different wood, different sizes, and these things are incredibly sturdy. Use my exclusive code Q1YTB30 for an extra $30 off on the E7, E7 Pro, and E7L desks, and use NYYouTube30 for an extra $30 off of all existing discounts. I actually feel so privileged to be one of the handful of people to ever experience this. Bravo, developers. You've done it. One can only imagine what our current games of today would be like if they have applied some fucking creativity for once. Look at this. What's in the, what's in the crate? What's in the crate? Ooh. So now can I cut down trees? 
You see, this is how survival games should be. Oh, here we go. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> I can craft a wooden pickaxe now? Whoever built this really had, like, a good foundation. Oh, shit. Don't tell me I'm gonna get eaten by a fucking fox here. Fuck. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, fucking hell, it's got a friend. Dude, guys, just leave me alone, man. I didn't mean to come in your space. After escaping those deadly foxes, I buckled down and started grinding. And I built myself a base. Now, for a minute, I honestly forgot about all sense of time. Whilst I'm just here bobbing around on this blue Mike Wazowski nut cutting down wood. And it was a refreshing reminder that gaming is simply just having fun. That's it. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't put it past anyone if this if this game won best game of the year, to be honest with you. Now, I don't actually know how to make a door, so we have no door. As far as I'm aware, there's only one thing missing. We have our base, but I'm going back for the dragon. It's going to be a long journey. Bouncing my way back to Tutorial Island. Yes! We have one spare dragon. I'm sorry, Wazowski Nut, but dragon takes priority here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! I wonder what that is up there in the sky. Oh. Okay, I think we're done here. All right, I played just under an hour. I think I'm gonna leave a review. Write a review. I would absolutely recommend this. I'm honestly bewildered. This game, for the first time ever, let me mount a dragon. From bouncing along on a blue nut to soaring across the skies like Daenerys Targaryen. I would buy this game even if it cost $50. That's a five star from me. Happy birthday, Adolf. April 20, 2012? Zero all time. Is Steam Charts even that old? <laughs> Spring of 1945. The Third Reich is on the verge of defeat. The regime of the Fuhrer and death. Scientists from an Anaber freeze Adolf Hitler in a secret cryo laboratory. After 75 years on his birthday, he awakens and goes to the past to save the world from disaster. Now, it's got a couple of reviews by people that have activated it with a Steam key. This is awful. <laughs> now, I'm looking for a good narrative here. Some good storytelling. A real vigorating experience. This looks like we're in Alien or some shit. Okay, so I I'm guessing we are Adolf. We are... We've, we've come back from being cryo-frozen. Hmm. Use. Oh, okay. We just spawned in fucking... I don't even know where. Are they zombies? What the f... Oh! Oh! God! Oh, shit. I've got no weapon? Is, is this... What is this game meant to be, bro? Is it just Adolf just, what, just comes back alive after being frozen and then he just gets eaten by zombies? Is that the experience? Am I given no weapons on purpose here? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on, bro? What is this? What am I meant to do? Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. You're fucking wanted. You're fucking wanted. The 
There's too many zombies for the Mitrov. The Mitrov can't fight them all forever. Oh shit. And uh, I, th I think that's it. I think I've killed them all. Now I don't actually know what we do now, but I had an amazing time. Let's leave a review, shall we? Yes. Good. Now this next game literally has zero all-time players and zero reviews. It's literally never been played ever. You can roll the ball with three different material and it will help your variety game play, explore world and find your way to gold. All right, out to car. I love a good ball. So I'm genuinely the first person to play this game ever. By the way, if you haven't left the video a like yet or subscribed, do it. Okay, so we're like a, what, like we're like a marble? Okay. I guess I just have to make my way to freedom. There it is. Oh, we sent it. We sent it. I wonder how many levels there even are. Like, what if this really does just go on f forever, you know? Okay, I've literally checked everywhere. Everywhere on this map, bro. I can't find the yellow thing. I, I, I don't think the developer got this far. I think I've got further than the actual developer. We're literally just going to put fast. I mean, yes. Now, after that masterpiece, we have one more game to explore. All right, the next game we've got. Zero all-time players. Zero reviews. It is the refuge. Escape from the heist just like Marcus Hunter does in the film. Oh, this is based on the... Oh, did this film ever even... Oh, look, it's downtown LA. Did this film ever even come out? <laughs> this was nominated for an Oscar. His acting whilst driving was amazing. <laughs> that hard labor. So there is guys that want to <laughs> what is this? you need chain it down. No, though. Good. Good. That's rule number one. Always Did this film even come out? Dude, there's like 18 different films called The Refuge. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so this game is based on the film. Okay. We're sinking $12 for this one. Damn. No reviews. We are the first ever. All right, here we go. Jesus Christ! You have just robbed the bank and police are after you. Escape the police and get out of the city to complete the mission. Who actually needs GTA? At 40 or 50 or $60 or whatever when you can get this for 12 You know? This is GTA. Oh yeah, can we drift? Can we drift? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's it. How do we get out of the city? Where do we go? Oh, there's so many police cars behind me. I can just tell. I can just tell. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Oh my God! What the hell? He just clawed me. He just spit. What is this? They're on crack. How do we get out of here? Can you even win? I need a better driver. Bro, I need a better driver. They're on my six. They're on my six. And it was at this moment I realized there was only one man for the job. This. Dimitrov do this in real life all the time. Not a problem. Shit. Dimitrov is stuck here. But it's okay. Shit. The Refuge, simply put, is a much cheaper and better alternative to GTA. Actually, I would go as far to say that this is more bang for your buck than, than you would get with GTA. Fuck yeah.